imagine an artificial leaf that mimics photosynthesis, which lets plants harness energy from the sun. But this leaf would also have the ability to power your homes and cars with clean energy using only sunlight and water. Chemist Daniel Mosera, from the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology at Harvard University, is the maker of a synthetic leaf, a device that he says can feed the world. He seeks to create innovations in photocatalytic water splitting, towards the use of solar energy in large-scale applications. Photocatalytic water splitting is a general term used for the dissociation of water into its constituent parts, hydrogen and oxygen, using either artificial or natural light. The leaf is made of inexpensive materials and works with ordinary water, he said. For the demonstration, he used a slim piece of silicon about the size of a playing card. The silicon was coated with catalysts, created by him and his group, that speed the breakdown of water into hydrogen and oxygen. On one side of the silicon, hydrogen starts bubbling up, and oxygen bubbles up on the other side. Dr. Nocera said, The catalysts are placed directly on the silicon, so no extensive wiring is needed, as in standard photovoltaic cells to convert sunlight into current and break down the water into hydrogen and oxygen. No extensive membrane is required either. He plans to collect and use the hydrogen as a fuel. The gases that bubble up from the water can be turned into a fuel to produce electricity in the form of fuel cells. The device may sound like science fiction fantasy, but Nocera said he hopes one day it will provide an alternative to the centralized energy system, the grid. We're aiming to have a very distributed energy system. Using just sunlight and water, you can be off the grid. If you're poor, you don't have a grid, so this gives them a way to have energy in the day and at night. With just the artificial leaf, 1.5 bottles of drinking water and sunlight, you could have enough electricity to power a small home, but the cost is still a problem, though Nocera said he believes that will come down with time and research. Nocera is looking for ways to drive down the costs make these devices more widely available. He recently replaced the platinum catalyst that produces hydrogen gas with a less expensive nickel molybdenum zinc compound. He's also looking for ways to reduce the amount of silicon needed. We don't have a system right now that can be used commercially for photosynthesis that competes with fossil fuels he said, but developing one is of central importance if we are to move from a fossil fuel energy economy to a renewable energy economy. For more information about this story, please see the links below. Any comments would be appreciated and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching Strange Science News.